Hello everybody, welcome back. It's actually been a while since I recorded, it's been a couple of days. As you can see, I did manage to upgrade to level, I believe, 4, which we were working on last time, but I haven't done anything else on that. I also decided to keep Thirst, but I made this. Whoops, use the power. Which has a bunch of water in it. And let's see, I also made a village out there. I'll show you that. But it's going to have to wait a few minutes. And also, we're going to take a look at the project list. Um, oh, coin we're not going to be able to do, unfortunately. At least not yet. So first, let's take a look at what we have to do for the next vampire level. We combine the book with the page. And that should tell us what to do. So jump to the last page. Strength was flowing into him the more he drank. As the night progresses, he became stronger. It was the fourth night. See, that's the last point we did. We waited four days, which it just kicked in. And then it gave me this, which gives me speed two, jump boost two for 10 seconds at the cost of a little bit of blood. It's actually very nice for getting around. So his greatest foe, the sun, was ever present, tormented and instantly deadly to him. Because of his obsession, he found a way to collect sunlight and burn himself ten times. Okay, I know exactly what that means. We have to make these. Now, what does it take? I thought so. Daylight sensor, which is quartz. So we're going to have to go into the nether and get some quartz. So we're going to actually do that after we um do... Let's move this over here. After we do this one, vampire gear. So, I made this little village and I made more golden lassos to move some villages over into it. And it's pretty good. Um, I'm going to tell you a couple of things. I dug up a lot of quicksand and it's got a quicksand trap outside which is really cool. Now, if you look up there you see that there's micro blocks on the roofs. Now I originally had the roof done completely in micro parts, but as you can see I switched to stone slabs, just vanilla slabs, and the reason for that is, is because these guys wouldn't sleep unless you were using vanilla slabs, unfortunately, which actually doesn't matter because it's, it's vanilla something, I would assume. It actually looks pretty good with the slabs, so that's nice. And it takes them usually about two to three, maybe four days for them to fully recover their blood. Ah, there's one that has a little bit of a deep sleep. It gets really, really noisy here though because the vampires, or the, not the vampires, the, um, those guys, they burn, but they would be uh, all the time if you didn't have them die anyways, so. Plus, I thought maybe, because I had a lot of trouble getting to sleep, I didn't figure out that um, thing about the slabs until just really, really recently. So I thought maybe it was because monsters were around, they weren't sleeping, or maybe it's because I was around, they weren't sleeping. I tested and tested and tested, and it just never worked. And then I've also been farming EXP, by the way, and then I figured it out eventually. Now, I also laid this out. We're making here blood-soaked cloth which you need a bone needle which is just a bone and a flint and you take your bone needle and this is blood stained wool that's it blood soaked cloth same thing you just lay wool regular wool on the ground then you see over there it's using up a half a heart each and I decided to do this ahead of time well half a blood drop each I decided to do this ahead of time just because it took a while now we need these to make our vampire gear so we're going to do that because it's going to be awesome I wonder if my saw or my chainsaw can get it up quicker because that's really slow. Also, there's one other thing I forgot to re-add to the I forgot to add to the list that I want to make this go, but no, this isn't any faster. Sad. That's okay. I'm gonna collect this up, then we'll be right back. Okay, last two here. I don't. I set up these berry bushes here. And I spent a long time just water canning them. Now, I don't think I mentioned it, but the reason why I hadn't recorded in a while, even though for you it wouldn't have been because you would um, put that in there to cook them, you are getting a video every day, is because I was working on another project, and we're going to take a look at that, not this episode, but maybe the ne next episode. Definitely we're going to look at it today in one of my recordings, because I really want to show you what I've been doing. I've actually been working on it for several days, 
which is why I am. I only have a video that's going to go out today and a video that's going to go out tomorrow, and then I have none more scheduled. And I, I won't like to stay two or three days ahead, or three or four days ahead, actually. So this gives us woven coir. Now. And that's just straight up crafted into vampire gear. So let's craft a piece. Which looks amazing, I think. Here we go. And you get set bonuses, which is awesome. Now, let's put that on. I'm not gonna show you in third person until we um until we um get it all, so um let's see, what else what else is on the list? Farms, oh yeah. Oh, I wanna make some armor stands. Well we'll do that while we wait. I want to make some armor stands, which is stone slabs, which I'm out of. That's not stone. Oh, that's right. I put the, I took the stone out of the barrel. So three. I want a couple of them. Actually, I think I need six of them. And I'll show you why in a second. That's only four. Let's get eight, just in case. Okay, now, here I cleared up these chests, we're gonna go bloop bloop. Now I want to put, I've been, I combine these, and I want to see if they'll actually go on that. They should. So these two go together. Okay, so there, and there. Nice. I really like these armor pieces, I think they look funny, and I also want to do these because I basically every time I drop these I combine them together because I can melt them into um nope give me that back you I can melt them into um steel which is very useful so please go together okay stop clicking then this is the only one the shopkeeper has but it still looks really cool oh actually there's more than I thought because this is him Oh, I don't have enough room for all of them. Oh, wait. Yes, I do, because I don't have to put these over here. And there. Then I can just put these over here. Very nice. And I don't... I think this is the only one that's not full. I think that's actually all of them. Now, you can craft these, but I've actually been getting them from mob drops. Yeah, that's all of them. There is a riot shield, but you can't equip that. Maybe we'll find a way to put it on this plate too, but... Okay, that no longer needs to stay there. Let's go check on our queer courier. Let's go check on our fabric. It's done. Good. So, hat. Boots. Leggings. And we have five left over. I don't know if it actually... Okay. Now, there's one more. But first, let's put some stuff away here. Let's put that in that. That in that. Alright, so I know for a fact we need two diamonds. A stick. And one gold. So we're making this the cane sword. Costs one diamond sword. Don't know why that did not craft. Alright, and the cane sword is really cool. You de sheath it. So, this is what I look like. We look awesome. And, and I believe that you can also collect that blood in the cane sword. Now, we're not done there though because. I'm going to enchant all of these. 